Hello again, just a very short video here. I'm in the process of rejigging the layout in my van here, and I've built this little self contained kitchen unit thing, so I thought I'd share it with anyone who's interested. It's my own design. Um, the reason for this is for anyone who's seen any of my previous videos, I did have the worktop going up here and then the big cupboard unit here, sort of the traditional layout. Um, I'm changing it up a little bit here. I've got a, um, an extended seat here. It's going to be a bit more cozy. I've condensed everything that I need into this much smaller unit. And obviously the main thing I've lost here is work surface space. The way I've got around that is I put the handle on the bottom and the hinges on the top and you just pull it up, it actually comes off automatically. These hinges hold it up, so the piston just helps assist to push it up. That's sort of optional, you don't need that. These hold the work surface upright, so that's a tabletop I can use. I wouldn't recommend using this design that I've used, I'm going to take these off. Get the locking ones because you want it to be nice and firm. I'm just waiting for them on order. Same with this one as well. This provides a little bit of extra work surface space. As you can see, you've got plenty there. Uh, and I'm waiting for the um, for the locking mechanism there to arrive in the post, but you get the idea. And it's got shelf space in the bottom here. Not as much as before, but I'll put an extra little shelf up there. The sink itself is just a mixing bowl. That cost me a few quid, five quid or something. Same with this plug. That is a water container just suspended above that. And I've got running cold water. It's all I need really. Brush my teeth, rinse my mug, that kind of thing. And then when I want to drain this, it goes through there. Not the best angle that really, I should have put that hole a little bit lower, but you can learn from my mistakes into the little uh, drainage container there. And then I just open that from the driver's side door, pull it off and then take that out. It's held on with a little bit of elastic on a loop, which you can easily unfasten. So that's it. I'll put the prices for everything on here. Sort of rough estimates because I've used a lot of scrap woods, that kind of thing and give yourself a good couple of days to build something like this. Cheers.